What's going on guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I want to share with you what it feels like being on a carnivore diet after roughly three months of being on top of it and only consuming meat and a little bit of carbs here and there that will help such as fruits and occasionally gluten-free pasta and so on. So first of all, why did I do the carnivore diet? Well, it wasn't necessarily just to fix psoriasis and I'm not even claiming that that's what helped fix my psoriasis. For those of you that have been following my channel, you probably already know that I've uh, done everything possible in the book and one of the solutions that worked for me was the biologics that the injections that I've done so some of you might say oh like this is it you gave up and you did the biologics or whatever sure that's your opinion and that's uh, that's totally fine uh, the thing is I'm admitting to it and I'm not hiding the fact so I did do it uh, this is something that worked for me and I believe it was a clean form of fixing things this is not steroid based it's not something harmful for you of course the side effects just like anything but I would say that was a major, major decision as to why I did it and it, it did clear me up 100%. So now what it enabled me to do is not focus on, so to speak, uh, pain, quote unquote, but actually go into finding a solution from the inside. Now I've tried that obviously before, but obviously with life and skin interfering uh, and not feeling great, it was a little bit hard to do. So now that everything is clear, now that I have more time to focus on myself, I could actually just work on one thing at a time and seeing what difference it makes. So the first step I did was, how about I cut out everything I'm eating that clearly is not working because I, I was going to the bathroom like five, six times a day and feeling bloated and feeling not great all the time. And it was like not comfortable. I didn't like that feeling. So I was like, let's go to the source and let's figure out what's wrong with my gut. Let's fix that first. And for those of you that have been following for a while, you probably saw a few of the videos where I talk about this. The, and this is a little bit gross, I'm warning you. The poop makes a lot of difference. Whatever type of poop you have, there's different types to it. If you Google it, you actually see that. And this might give you a clue as to what is wrong with you. So if something is wrong with your internal, if your poop is wrong, then chances are it's gonna show through your skin, it's gonna show through other ways as well. So for me, Clearly something was off and I was like, okay, if I'm eating the same food all the time and it's healthy, but it's not good, obviously like based on me going and having bad poop, how about I fix it? So I switched completely 360. I'm like, okay, well, we've been taught essentially from online research and from dermatologists and doctors for us, those of us that have psoriasis and eczema and so on is avoid red meat, avoid anything that's a uh, nightshade, avoid all those things that we already know to avoid from the lists that we always follow. So, well, I thought to myself, well, everyone talks about this carnivore diet. Uh, Jordan Peterson talks about it. Uh, Joe Rogan talks about it. A lot of people talk about it and it seems to really help them. So I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to try. So I jumped on it and three to four months later, I mean, I'm still on it and I would say I'm feeling great. I mean, I have a lot of energy. I sleep really well. And it doesn't mean that it's just because of that. Obviously, I exercise a lot and I've definitely tripled up on my exercise routines. I've joined quite a few different programs. But yes, all of that combined helps. But I will tell you, the energy is perfectly there. The mood is perfectly there. And like, it's clear. I'm, I'm thinking straight. I'm, I'm making sure everything is done uh, efficiently and everything is accomplished. So everything is moving in the right direction. I can tell you for a fact that the bathroom routine now considerably reduced. I would say at least cut by half. So if before I was going five, six times a day, now it's like two, three times a day, which is great. It's a good start. And the consistency in the poop is much, much healthier. Like you can tell that it's a significant improvement. So because of that, I'm like, okay, well, it's clearly on the right track. Something I'm doing is right. So I figured, well, I'm eating red meat, I'm eating chicken, I'm eating cod, salmon. So all the carnivore essentially. And sometimes I'm adding gluten-free pasta. Sometimes I'm adding, um, I'm adding only cucumber and avocado. Those are the only two things I allow myself. And then as far as um, carbs, I eat a lot of fruits and I try to eat a lot of fruits. Sometimes I don't get to it and I don't beat myself up if I have a little bit more carbs that I'm not supposed to, like maybe fries or potatoes or whatnot. But again, as you always know me from this channel, 90% of the time I, try to be strict and I try to be good, 10% I'm allowing myself to do whatever I want and see what, what happens from that. And what's super interesting is that after all this time, after the four months period or 120 days, how, 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 however many days have been passed already, I, don't, I haven't counted exactly. But after three to four months, I've been eating this carnivore diet and my psoriasis is not back. I don't see any glimpse of it coming back. I don't see any issues at all in my skin. I don't see any dry skin. Of course, you would think that eating red meat so much and having winter right here, like having snow around, like it's dry out, 
um, having no sun absolutely at all, pretty much, you would think the psoriasis will come back, right? That's what we're used to, um, at least a flare up or something. And no, nothing is coming back. And my last uh, biologic injection, the Skyrezi injection, was two months ago, roughly. So the next one is coming up uh, in a in a month, which I don't even think I'm going to be doing. We'll see how that's going to go. But I don't have any signs. If you can take a look, you've seen my elbows before. Not a single sign of here. I'll just focus on this. There's not a single sign of psoriasis. As you can see, it's all clear. This is probably bruises from my training, if anything. Here, I'll just focus on that as well. This is just bruises uh, from all the training that I've been doing. So essentially, there's no psoriasis coming back and looks like something I'm doing is working. So I'm going to continue that work. I'm going to continue that diet because it is helpful. And my goal here with this video is for those of you that are watching and not sure what to do next or what should you try, I mean... Try with a certain diet that might work for you. See if it helps. First of all, improve your poop style. Like that's a, the poop type, sorry. That's a really important one. Double check again on Google and see what type you might be fitting in. I believe there's six or seven types. You want to be in a healthy one. If you're not there, then that chances are that's the first issue that you have to fix. Before you go to doctors, before you change your diets, figure out which poop type you are. And unfortunately, this is a gross topic. And unfortunately, that's what we have to do. But this is something that's going to help fix it and there's no other way to put it and for whatever weird reason not a dermatologist not a family doctor not online nobody has talked about this part and until i specifically researched for it and went to a rabbit hole i don't understand why it's not more widely covered because this is like that's your gut that's your internal that's where everything comes from so for those of you that are wondering well why did i go ahead with the injections then if i could just do this part well, I actually have done that part before the injections just to see what improvements I get. And it was already much better, but I already signed up and I already had a prescription. And I was like, you know what? I, at that point in my life, I was willing to spend the money to get it done because it was a quick shortcut. Let's put it that way. So if I got a quick shortcut to get the result I wanted 100%, then I took it because I can afford it. And I was like, why not? For those of you that can't afford it and are willing to stick through it a little bit longer, try this method. It might, it might work. I'm not saying it's going to fix you. It might not work for you at all. But I am saying this is another method you can try. And if it does work, great. If it doesn't, then you, at least you try it. You check it off the list and you go back, to the, go back to the drawing board and try something new. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.